Hi, I am Tame Danger, and I'm here with T. We uh we get to talk like every year. I feel you like <laughs> it's very fun because I like love coming to these theater spaces. Uh, but remind me actually exactly what your title is because like every time you're doing something new, I feel like right. My title has changed a lot over the years. So currently, I am the lighting and sound designer and a continuing instructor. That's very cool. And we are in this brand new beautiful uh, laboratory theater. The Rob and Judy Gardner Laboratory Theater. And we have done one production with an audience. One. One. Just one. That's very cool. We're, we're going for number two. Number two. And that's what is set up right now? That is the misanthrope, the one that we have set up now. The misanthrope. And so we'll walk and talk a little bit about this. But I don't know if we can just do a shot of like, uh, you said you're I like that you say, oh, I'm the lighting person. And it's like, you just really were like, if we're going to do a show, we're going to do all the lighting. Well, yeah. Um, why have one chandelier when you could have 28? Yeah. Um, we're hopefully getting a couple more. Really? Uh, but you are seeing 28 of them working. Is like the um, Mankato Menards like cleaned out right now? or No, but the Habitat for Humanity Restore is. There you go. <laughs> we're, we're making deals with them. That's so. awesome. So I don't know. Tell me about like what the vision for this was. Like how did this come about? Uh, sure. So the misanthrope takes place in 1660 in the real world, but we're going to bend it up a little bit. So um, we start out getting a feeling of that, but we change into something a little more modern. So there's also LED lights and TVs and lots of craziness. That's fun. Um, so yeah, we're expecting it to be fun and exciting and a little more modern twist on a show that is quite old. Yeah. So, it, I, it should be exciting. And I mean, you you can see from here that there's Christmas tree lights up. Um, yeah. There's a wedding that's going to happen, and we're we're going all out for it. That is so cool. I mean, uh, you know, I've like obviously spent a lot of time like in theaters and and I have so much respect for like, people who actually <laughs> who actually have real skills. Uh, you know, like <laughs> lighting and yeah. sound and design and things like that. But uh, I what what does it take to put something like this together? When did you start? How many students and things are involved? Sure, it, it takes an army, that's that's for sure. Um, we started talking about this show last school year. Okay. Um, so before we end, um, we have a 10 week design process and then we work our way all the way to, um, at the end of 10 weeks of, of figuring and thinking and over summer we skip some weeks and add some space in. Sure. Um, then we, we get to the part where we build it. We put it in, we start building the set that's below us. We'll see it when we go around the other side. Um, and we, we start getting it all together. I have about 12 students who work for me. Wow. There's probably about 20 in the scene shop. I think there's 30 in the costume shop. There are there are over 100 students involved in every production we do. Wow, that's wild. Let, I mean, I kind of want to keep walking because I've never gotten to be up here right now. This is the cat. I live walk. up here. You, I know. To you, you're just like, what do you mean? This is just home. Uh, but for most folks, like, oh, we're on the catwalk. We're like yep. up above everything right now. Uh, this space, you already said, uh, the Rob Judy Gardner Laboratory Theater, yep. and this is only the second production. Can you just tell us a little bit about, again, for folks who haven't been here before, like what is amazing and wonderful about this space that as a new wonderful addition to our theater department here? Sure. Um, so one of the things that's really exciting is that it's an additional space to work in, yeah. which is something our department has really needed. Um, but what's really exciting about this space is it's completely flexible. Yeah. So if you look down, and I'm going to point the camera over there, there's flexible seating over under the chandeliers on the end there. That seating is completely movable. Those are foldable chairs that are comfortable, the most important factor. Um, the first show that we did in here was in fact a proscenium type stage where the stage was actually currently under where we're currently standing. So the seats were on that side. Uh. Now we've rotated it over. So we have a longer stage this way um, and we can go into the round. We can do any configuration we want. Everything is made super flexible. And even the lighting and sound equipment is made flexible so that we can take the lighting and sound boards down to the main deck we can work from there and then we can bring them back up and all the equipment will keep working and there's places you can just plug it in downstairs. That's Lots of easy, convenient, take it down the elevator, plug it in, you're good to go. And I've got to imagine that like for students, 
That's like really exciting, right? It, like it's exciting for me. It's really yeah, exciting, it's exciting for, for them. <laughs> yeah, because like now all of a sudden you can you've got a blank canvas that you can yep. do just about anything on. With lots of LED lights, all new light fixtures, all new sound equipment, all new lighting equipment, dressing rooms and, and scene shops and everything, just all new toys. Yeah. It's, is it is really exciting. There, it got a little tiring on opening packages, but then you think about how how are you going to use it. I'm all, just. So. <laughs> can I say that you're like the child on Christmas morning that's like, oh, I'm tired of opening presents right now. There's like, so many. There's so many. But now we get to play with it, and we. I mean, we took that break, but we're back, and now it feels more like normal that we're we're getting in there. We're we we were focusing lights earlier today. You, you came after we finished that, so yeah. the show is coming along and it's getting close yeah. and that's that's super exciting it is uh, yeah I, I went to rehearsal the other night and was laughing hysterically laughing i've seen this show already i've seen them do it but they were at a whole new level now wow that is fantastic so. well i i love getting to come in this space because a it's like getting <laughs> to see behind the curtain at the wizard of oz like yep. how a lot of this like actually happens but then also this is gift to gustavus day and like yep. this is an example of the kind of thing that you all are supporting and like what you have made possible in previous years and are making possible right now with gifts that you make. Like these kinds of amazing spaces that are the embodiment of opportunity for young students who are going into this theater space for the first time. So yeah, uh, it is super cool and super wonderful. Thank you so much for the wonderful tour. Sure. Yeah. This is very cool. All right, th thank you all so much uh, for taking this time to watch with us. Again, this is like what you are supporting is this opportunity for people uh, here at Gustavus. Amazing things like this are what you make possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't, now is a really good time to give to Gustavus. All right, this is cool. Can we keep walking? I we can keep walking. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs>